Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Phil with Samantha again. We got more Jimi Hendrix today. And the last one that we did was Hey Joe at the Monterey Festival. You guys were telling me that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> and uh, we were doing this one because it's a request from Mark. Mark came through and said, uh, you guys got to check out some Jimi Hendrix. He did that before we got it to Hey Joe. And we released that one. So um, then I asked him, I said, do you want us to still do this video that you had you know, requested from us? And uh, he said, yeah, yeah, because there's another. He does Hey Joe, but he also does Voodoo Chile. And I think he does one other song on here as well. So Cool, so it's a compilation of a bunch yeah, of stuff. Yeah, and it's Neat. another live version. So um, I'm excited. Uh, from what we've kind of gathered thus far, Jimmy is a live performer that seeing is believing. <laughs> yeah, well, we, Phil was mentioning earlier earlier that there was these things that we didn't know about him like the guitar side thing he... oh yeah we, when uh, we were going through the comments right you guys were saying that he was playing um he's a wanted to play his guitar left-handed so he was using a right-handed guitar but he just switched it around and it was upside down and he <laughs> restringed it so he could play it because he couldn't forward buying a guitar that was made for him yeah which is absolutely wild which we didn't even know and that's mind-blowing but it was mind-blowing just seeing him play over his head on top yeah, of his head his on tongue. his back back of his neck whatever and with his oh, teeth. teeth sorry yeah. i said tongue i meant yeah. teeth <laughs> And uh, playing the rhythm and the lead at the same time, which, yeah. you know, and that was only like a three minute performance. Yeah, so. crazy. And we have a pop quiz for you guys today for where you, to see if you guys are real Jimi Hendrix fans. Yes. So we want to know if you know where he was born. It's not that hard of a question. We'll start you guys with an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm excited to check it a little more. Jimmy, he blew us away last time. So who knows what to expect on this one. But uh, thanks so much, Mark, for supporting the channel. Yes, we really do so appreciate much. it. You've been tremendous in your support. We we couldn't imagine that you would have came through as much as you did. So uh, thank you. Really appreciate it. And uh, now we get to check out some more Jimmy. Let's go. Yeah, I'm excited. And we'll give you the answer to that question after we watch.
case you didn't know, Jimmy and the boys won in a, a big uh, American magazine called Billboard, <laughs> the, the group of the year, and they're going to sing for you now the song that absolutely made them in this country. And I love to hear them sing it. Hey, Joe. So I definitely remember the uh, some of that you know voodoo child mm -hmm. when we did the Stevie Ray Vaughan cover. Yeah, it's cover. familiar. It rang some bells for me too. Yeah, obviously I think it was way longer when we did the voodoo yes. child one. Um, so I think they probably just played a portion of this just to mm -hmm. allow Jimmy to rip on the guitar there. Yeah, he killed it. Got his guitar still. Um, hasn't got himself a new guitar. <laughs> <laughs> custom made one yet yeah um it, it's crazy too because i think commenters were saying that's how he learned to play the guitar was playing the opposite of what was normal so that's, that's how crazy. he taught himself yeah so anyways um you know clearly he was ripping on that um it was you know i feel like the way it's set up is almost just to be able to hear him play the guitar and how mm -hmm. good he is he also got a, such a i think i said this in the last one a unique sound in the way he's able to emit the frequency of the guitar it just yeah. sounds a little bit different it does i would agree the way it resonates um yeah and uh, so, you know, we've heard different guitar players, as you know, we mentioned the last one throughout our journey. Yeah. And it's it's amazing how individual they are. But you can really tell now in the second one that we've done from from Jimmy, he's definitely got his own unique sound that he brings to the table in both both the times that we've listened to. For him. sure. Like prior to getting into this journey with the channel, like I would like I just assumed that playing guitar is playing guitar. Like it all just sounds the same. Yeah. It does not. So No. And uh, so the, what I was going to say was I think it's designed for him to like come in and rip on it, but you know, obviously his vocal clarity is not really that prominent in this one. Mm -hmm. It's hard to hear him singing a little bit. Yeah. But I mean that's because the instrumentation is, you know, so vibrant and yeah. it looks like if I'm wrong I could be wrong, but there's only three of them which you can see on the, the stage here, which mm -hmm. so much sound is just coming from yeah. three of them. And, you know, we've had a couple other groups that we've done on the channel, but generally it's, you know, four members at least that that we see. So it's cool, you know, another three piece three three piece group that is able to provide so much depth. Yeah, like you said, like providing such a strong sound with yeah. not that many members is really cool. I'm interested to see kind of how they transition into the next one. Mm -hmm.
to stop playing this rubbish and uh, dedicate a song to the uh, cream, regardless of what kind of group they might be in, we'd like to dedicate it to Eric Clapton, Ginger Baker, and uh, Jack Bruce. <laughs> That's well, he's like, stop playing this rubbish. That's wild to think like Eric Clapton was relevant then. Yeah. You know, because this is 1969, right? And yeah. We've done a few Eric Clapton songs mm -hmm. and uh, we haven't done any Cream yet. No. Um, but it's just w crazy to hear Jimi Hendrix mention Eric Clapton. Yeah, I know. You know? And uh, so we didn't get any uh, behind the behind the head or uh, with the teeth and, no, not and Hey Joe one. on that one. Yeah, no, no, no. But it was cool to see him using the foot pedal uh, to kind of change the, I guess, the modulation of the sound. And yeah. um, just, you know, again, providing maybe a Jimi Hendrix feel to the sound. Yeah, it kills me too, though. He's just like, hey, enough of this rubbish. Like, let's kick it into something <laughs> a little bit higher tempo. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess we'll find out. We only got a minute. So I guess just, he's just going to go for a minute and... And uh, rip on it, yeah. Let's see. Dedicate a song to the uh, cream, regardless of what kind of group they might be in. We'd like to dedicate it to Eric Clapton, Ginger Baker, and uh, Jack Bruce. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix, BBC. It was colorized. I well. recognize that end portion, like that riff. Yeah. And like into that, like I, that's familiar to me. Yeah, I think I recognize the riff a little bit as well. I don't, you know, it's like. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I was going to do it, but it's just better if you mimic it instead. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I do recognize that riff portion, but I don't know the song. No, me and, either. Uh, I just heard I it and I was like, that sounds familiar. I wouldn't have known that was Cream if yeah, that's who originally made the song, anyways. Yeah, no clue. Um, you know, it was cool. It was just seeing a Jimi Hendrix jam session, yeah, right? And do his thing. Know, know him a little bit better. And He's his... just natural. Like, just in his element, jamming it, loving it, killing it. Yeah, they definitely looked like they were just, you know, free-flowing off of each other really yeah. well. Um, and, uh, like I said, just a very indiv individualistic sound that they yeah. had. And uh, He seems like he has a really good energy, too. Hmm. Energy. Yeah. Like, he's just, like, chill and, like, having a good time, you know? Yeah, I mean, like you said, you notice some of the facial expressions that he had on there. It was like, oh, yeah, that's a great sound right yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> especially in the beginning, right? Like you could tell he was really getting into it, like yeah. dancing with his guitar. And... Yeah, making love to the music. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction. Thanks again so much for the support, Mark. We really appreciate that. Yes, and uh, I hope so that you guys all enjoyed our reaction to some great Jimi Hendrix. And let us know about Jimi in the comments if there's anything else you want us to check out. I think he's got, although it was a short career, I think he's got a decent catalog. You guys were saying in the last video that we, we did. So we can go and check that stuff out if you want to leave a comment and, and let us know where you want us to go. We'd appreciate those insights. And before we go, though, we got to make sure that we give you an answer to that pop quiz yes. question. Yes, where was Jimmy born? Where is he from? And he is from Seattle, Washington. And uh, so, you know, I didn't know that. Maybe you guys knew that. Uh, going into this one if you didn't glad you would you learned something because i learned something today got to experience some i had the experience as you guys were saying about Jimi yeah. hendrix so yeah, he's, um he's that's awesome. all you got to do for today other than hit the subscribe button and come back tomorrow thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one